Hi everyone and welcome to Home Arena Collectibles where today I am going to be doing a review for a game. This is the collector's edition version of Aliens Colonial Marines and this particular one is for the PlayStation 3. Now this is not going to be a full on review of the game, it's going to be a review and an unboxing of the actual collector's edition itself showing you everything that comes with it and also giving you a brief overview of the game as well so I'm going to go ahead and do that just before we get stuck into everything in here. So to start with then let's just talk about the game. Now I, I actually got this for £20 um, just to get that out of the way. Um, it was through Amazon and that's absolutely fantastic. It's half the price of just what a new game is these days anyway, let alone a, a collector's edition. Now it's like one and a half to two years old or something like that. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Now this game has got a lot of uh, bad reviews actually. Um, and it's mainly because of uh, the story. Um, nothing wrong with the actual game itself. Uh, but it's just the fact that someone from the original Aliens movie... Um, who you saw get taken from an alien, you probably already know who it is by now anyway because this game's been out for quite a while um, but um, you just suspect that they died and what a lot of people don't like is that he is alive in this game so obviously he's fought through unbelievable odds and came out alive and here he is. Now I'm happy with that because he's probably my favourite character from that movie however um, you know, a lot of people don't like that. And also what a lot of people don't like is that in this game, not to spoil anything, but just real quick, you spend a lot of time fighting humans, um, as well as the Xenomorphs. Now a lot of people don't like that, they want to be Colonial Marine, they want to be fighting the Xenomorphs. Well, you know, just because they don't like this particular game, they're just like slashing it off, um, you know, th th they think that they are really big Aliens fans, but, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like the game. Well. If you're a big Aliens fan, you should be happy that they're at least still releasing stuff for the franchise. Even if you don't like it or not, you should be happy that at least someone out there is going to be, uh, you know, enjoying the franchise just like you. So, you know, if maybe, even if you don't like the game, this is an okay price to get the statue and stuff that comes with it. But, uh, yeah, I'd say definitely if you've heard bad reviews about the game but you are into the Aliens franchise, then go ahead and just give it a shot. Um, it, it's an absolutely fantastic game, uh, it's got loads of great features, um, loads of playability and you know it's a bit of a different story but it works and it, it is really nice so just kind of skip out all the hate and just give it a go if you are into the franchise. So here we go into the actual unboxing itself anyway now that we've just done a real quick overview of the things to expect from the game. So as you saw on the packaging there, if I just spin it round, you've got um, th this outer sleeve which basically has all the um, the Xenos on it which is pretty cool. And then if I just bring this in a little bit closer about there and give it some focus, you can go ahead and just have a quick uh, read of that and everything that comes with it. So as you can see here we've got some uh, paperwork bits and bobs that come with it which I'll obviously show you in a second. There you go, you can see that a bit better now. Uh, and then you've got your statue and your game itself, and you've got a few things here that tells you some bits and bobs from the game. Um, so here's the different things that come with it. So basically, it includes four movie characters, and so that's uh, Hicks, Apone, Hudson, and Drake, so that you can actually play as those characters. Uh, and then there's Ripley's Flamethrower. Uh, which is obviously the flamethrower attached to the assault rifle, which is pretty cool. And then you've got down here a phased plasma rifle, which is just a, a new rifle that you can use. You've got um, a sonic electronic ball breaker, so it's just another um, gadget to use. You've got additional marine customization, so when you customize your marine online, you've just got a few extra things that you can customize for them. And there's also the USCM Academy firing range, so you can... Uh, practice uh, your accuracy and whatnot. So yeah, you get a few things. So that's basically the uh, kind of DLC that this thing comes with. There, all the kind of uh, add-ons to the game itself. So now, if we just take this sleeve off here, there we go. Now I I think it's exactly the same stuff for both the Xbox version and for the PlayStation version. Uh, that's as far as I know. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that it is. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is just open it up here at the top 
and uh, just get everything out. Obviously I have already opened this before, um, so I'm just going to get a few things out here and show you exactly what we have. So you just take out this top piece which holds everything in, and then we can start yanking things out. So I'm just going to get straight to the statue here, get that out. There we go, here it comes. There we are. So it comes in this nice little plastic thing. And there is actually a sleeve in here. Um, as you can see, a nice little diorama. So I'll just put it against that. So what we do is we just pull this apart, like so. And then you can essentially just lift it straight out. There we've got a nice logo there on the back of the packaging. And then here it is with the diorama real quick, so basically you've just got a hangar bay kind of thing going on there. And then you've just got the uh, alien attacking this loader, so I'm just going to take that out of the way so that we can get a closer look at this a bit more clearly. And here we are. So a nice thing about this is that, as you can see, I can barely rotate it because it does have kind of rubberized feet, uh, which means it's it's really hard to actually move when it's uh, on a flat surface like this. So that's very nice. It is a tad wobbly, but it's fine. It's enough to weigh down. It's not just going to wobble when you walk past it in the room and whatnot. So that's fine. The base is uh, done very, very well. As you can see there, it says Aliens Colonial Marines, and you've got this very nice... Um, weathered grated floor right there, some really nice uh, bolts over the back here, just giving you a quick look around. And then here we have the marine under attack from an alien. This thing is just painted up fantastically, it's not just yellow, you've got uh, different shades of yellow, you've got the um, uh, metal dry brushing on there of like some silver dry brushing showing the paint wearing off and showing the bare metal underneath we've got some um, every now and then uh, bits of brown and black to show dirt really really nice these pipes are actually pliable rubber I wouldn't pull on them too much um, but yeah they're not solid so you don't have to worry about like snapping them off or anything there's no movement with this thing there's no articulation but it is very cool. I like this little thing up here. It would be cool if that actually lit up. If you could just press a switch and then that actually like spun around, just like a normal orange morning light kind of thing, that would have been really cool. And uh, a lot of people have said that the marine's face is kind of derpy. And I have actually seen some that aren't painted too well. Just trying to give you a, a good shot of it there. As you can see, is it, it looks fine to me. I mean, he's looking straight at the alien and. His face doesn't look derpy at all, his, his eyes aren't crisscrossed, just like some of the people's are. Uh, there's just a little bit of uh, silver that just goes onto his hand there, or grey should I say, that should just be on the uh, the wraps on his hand. But he's got some really, really nice uh, dirt um, painted on there, and again he's got some silver dry brushing design on the armour there. And the alien itself is absolutely fantastic, so we've got this uh, black alien that has... Um, a blue dry brushing on it and it also has a bit of silver on there and in some aspects of light it kind of looks like it's got a bit of a, a purplish kind of uh, tinge to it um, it's just the obviously the mixture of the blue and the black just shimmering um, but yeah it looks absolutely fantastic there you can get a better look at the uh, the marine underneath there absolutely fantastic now you can actually move like the aliens hand like you know it's, it's not attached up here like it's, it's attached where the legs are so the the hands you can move them a little bit um, and these bits here are slightly pliable so if you were to drop it on those they probably wouldn't snap which is also fantastic but yeah there's just so much um, awesome detail and really nice design with this it just looks absolutely fantastic now as a quick size comparison so here is my NECA 7-8 um, inch Xenomorph, so obviously uh, that's not going to be in scale with it, it'll be perfectly fine stood next to it kind of thing. Uh, here is just uh, Miss Marvel real quick, just to give you a kind of Marvel Legends kind of 6 inch scale reference to it. Uh, so this is definitely going to be in scale with a lot of 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, especially if you have 3 and 3 quarter inch aliens, they probably are about this size anyway, so they'd look great. Um, I think, I don't know if it's Figma or if, I can't remember what the name of the company is, um, but there's a few of them going around now, you can get some Predators and some Aliens and stuff. Uh, really, really awesome, um, you know, like kind of four inch scale figures that would probably look really nice next to this thing, but this is a pretty awesome statue. 
So next we're going to take out the uh, little game content download thing. So basically this is uh, where you get your, your DLC stuff, um, your, your multiplayer, whatnot, and your foreign academy stuff. And there's a code on the back for it, so there's that. And then also if I come in here and just get this out, we obviously have the game itself. So the game on it has the uh, four playable movie characters, the flamethrower and the uh, extra marine customization. So obviously that is um, because it is the limited edition version. So if you actually get this um, collector's edition, it's actually the limited edition game which comes with some of the content. And then you also have the DLC sheet here for a couple of other things. So really, really nice already with um, actual in-game content. And then the last thing out of the box is this. As you can see, it says United States Colonial Marines and classified on there. So we've got a nice little thing. So I actually haven't opened this yet. As you can see, it is sealed with this uh, sticker right here. So I will open this now. But as you can see, this is essentially, um, it, it says inter inter blah, 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 interdepartment delivery. So this would be, um, I don't know, on a ship or on a base or whatever. And you'd put your, you'd just deliver it to someone else on the base. Like, obviously this... Uh, looks like it could be something classified like, um, I don't know, documents or something to maybe the Nostromo or whatever, you know. So basically, uh, this is how documents would get shipped around. So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. So already this thing looks really, really cool. There we go. Just want it to be nice and um, neat with it so that obviously it still looks very cool. So here we go. This is an adventure for me just as it is for you. So let's get everything out here. Make sure we got everything. Is there anything else? Nope, that is it. So first up here we have a uh, photo. It looks like an old Polaroid. Uh, and as you can see, it says uh, LV426 Environment Hadley's Hope Perimeter. So absolutely fantastic. And then you've got like Mission Time and Recon. You can actually see a load of alien eggs uh, in there too. So that's absolutely fantastic. It's just like a little Polaroid. Uh, very nice. We also get some patches, so this is the um, USCM military patches, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic again. I mean, for me, I'm into airsoft, so if I do go to airsoft games, then obviously I can whack this patch on a jacket or on a helmet or something, and it's really, really cool. Or, you know, you can just go ahead and put it on a, a bag or whatever you want. So, uh, yeah, very nice. And then it says, uh, must apply to uniform before entering battlefield, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, you get a couple of patches, and then moving on, we have a um, essentially a phone conversation kind of thing. Um, you know, just like uh, if you get to court or something, like the, there's, there's someone typing everything that's said. Uh, I can't remember what the name is of the job actually now, to be honest, but it might just be like a typist or something, I don't know. Um, but essentially, it, it's like a kind of printed copy of... Um, you know, conversations about this mission briefing, which is classified. So very, very nice. So obviously, I'm, I'm not just going to go through and read it all, but if you if you get this, then you can uh, go ahead and read that yourself. You also get some blueprints, and these are very, very cool. I just get this opened up if I can. There we go. So you get a very, very nice sheet of essentially tracing paper. And as you can see here, it is the USS Sephora. Very, very cool. So it just shows you all of the features and everything of the Starship itself. You've got Whalen yutani Corp there and everything. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Just gives you all the details about the weapons and storage and where everything is on the ship and everything. Very, very nice. And then you can see that you can hold the drop ship and whatnot, so it just gives you kind of like a, a scale comparison there. Very, very cool thing, so you can go ahead and put that on a wall or something. And then you also get this, which says, uh, Be the face of your country, US Colonial Marines. Uh, so basically it's, you know, trying to get conscription, you know, trying to get people to join the Marines and stuff. So it's like a kind of poster that you would see uh, around Earth, I guess, I don't know. Um, and then there's also this, which you can actually sign yourself. And it is the United States Colonial Marines, and then it says, uh, this is to certify that, and then you can obviously write your naming and, uh, and on the day. Um, 
And it says, has uh, satisfactorily completed Colonial Marine Academy training and has graduated with honours. So you can actually sign that, put that up on your wall in a frame, and uh, when people come round your house, you can say, yep, I've, uh, I've passed my training, I am now a Colonial Marine. I've got my certificate, I've got my uh, patches, and I also have my first mission briefing. So, uh, yeah, that's all of the uh, items that you get within this collector's edition. In front of you guys is everything that comes with this collector's edition. So, just a quick recap, you get the limited edition version of the game, which comes with some bonus content. You also get a couple of pieces of DLC to add to the game. You also get some patches, um, a, a nice certificate, some blueprints, a mission briefing, a little Polaroid picture, and also, obviously, the main item being the statue, and not to forget this uh, poster right here. So, um, it's a very, very nice kit. Uh, everything put together, I mean, I'd probably pay at least like 40, 50 pounds for this now, and I got it for 20, so that's absolutely fantastic. If you just want to get the game, then go ahead and do that, but, you know, if you can get all of this, I mean, being a uh, a collector, this thing, if you were to buy this on your own, it, on its own, sorry, it definitely would cost you in the region of about 15 to 20 to 25 pounds or whatever, so... You know, to get this entire collection for cheaper than that, or for cheaper than a game on its own that would sell for now, uh, you know, nowadays if it was new, um, I think it's awesome. Especially if you have stuff that you can put the patches on. Especially if you are going to display the certificate and the blueprints and stuff. So it's a really awesome collector's edition, guys. Um, there's not really much more I can say about it apart from go ahead and get it. And if you haven't tried the game, just go ahead and give it a try. It's not very expensive just to try it. And it's just phenomenal. Don't read all the hate about it because that's just what people's opinions are that really wanted an alien game and then it came out and then it wasn't the story that they hoped for. Um, you know, it's, it's still an absolutely fantastic game and you should definitely go ahead and pick it up. So thanks for watching everyone, uh, if you want to go ahead and check me out on social media, it's homerino123 on both Twitter and on Instagram where you can see pictures of my collection and so on. And if you want to see more video game unboxings and reviews, go ahead and click on that like button and subscribe. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.